Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm joined, as always, by our trusty squad of Mog. When we last left off, we finished the second of three scenarios. We finished Elvis's scenario, even though we had Bash and Kanijo join us. It was technically just his scenario. It is time to start the third scenario. Let us go with Luke. It is time to find out what he is up to. Luke has worked hard to stymie the, the efforts of the Imperial troops, but now he desperately needs to escape. Sure he does! And we are back in South Figaro, and he is incredibly stealthy. Nicely done, Luke. Nuts! Gotta get it to Narsh on the fly! And let's take a look at him. He's pretty much the same. Uh, but I need to move him to the front row now. Uh, he is pretty much going to be my main attacker, as you remember. I unequipped him, so he has nothing now. Uh, let's give him some good stuff. In fact, I probably should give him the relics first, because I'm going to be giving him the Genji Glove and the Atlas Armlet. Uh, pretty much, he needs to be a good physical attacker for me. As a result, we do have the Air Lancet and Guardian on him once again. A front row is definitely necessary. Let's take a look at where we can go around here. Unfortunately, it looks like there is a Magitek armor in our way, preventing us from going into the main part of town. So, let's try to figure out where we can go around here. Of course, there is Duncan's house over here. How, how you doing? Uh, I'm sure there's a hidden passage under the rich man's house. Find the room. That's drafty. Don't really have anything new to say now, do ya? Let's find out what else we can do then, since Duncan's wife is no help whatsoever. We'll have to find something else to do around here. Let's see, we can go in here. And in here... We can find... Nothing. But there's a guy down here, you have anything new to say? Bring me some cider and maybe I'll talk to you. Of course, he doesn't want to say anything. He still is asking for that cider that we don't really know how to get just yet. Only people dressed as merchants may pass through. So, now we're gonna get yeah, dressed as merchants. <laughs> there you go, they kind of told you how to do it. I think the kid was supposed to say only merchants couldn't pass through, but instead he said people dressed as merchants, which is weird. Into the item shop we go. They have no sense of humor, those armored soldiers. Do you have anything in your clock? No. Why don't you have anything in your clock? Do you have anything? No? I thought he had something to say. Here's another merchant just kind of standing out just by the side. You're that thief, Luke, aren't you? Hey. Call me a treasure hunter, I'll rip your lungs out! And it is uh, battle time, not boss time, by any means. It's some merchants. Uh, you want to steal from him. We want to steal from him, Luke. Why aren't you listening to me? Stealing would be greatly appreciated. Damn it, Luke. I want to take something from him. He's got something important. You could just kill him. Uh, that, that is an option. I would not recommend it because if, well, if you don't steal from him, you have to fight that Magitek armor. And I'm going to avoid fighting that Magitek armor if I can, which means I want to steal. There we go, plumed hat, and we stole his clothing too. Here we go. These are a little tight, but the price was right. Oh, it rhymes. Woo. And... Away runs birthday suit, which was his name. They changed it. Sorry, and he's clearly got his clothes still on. I don't know what the hell's up with that, though. Okay, so back to where we had gone before, which is in here. And now we should be able to go down through the bottom because we are dressed as a merchant. Merchant right? you may proceed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we can try to look for anything. Ah, we get a tonic out of there. I almost forgot about that one. Good thing I checked. Let's head forward once again. I don't think I was able to get that before. 
and we have made it to the other part of town that we could not get to before. There's a guy blocking our path this way, so let's avoid that. And it doesn't... oh. Doesn't seem like there's much place for us to go! I don't think they'll just let a merchant through. I don't think that's how this works. But instead, what I can do is head all the way over here to where there I well I know there are barrels over there but there is a soldier over here as well as you can see he is a different color which is important scram you blockhead yes we are a blockhead obviously let's steal from this officer once again we're going to be doing the same thing that we did before with the merchant if Luke can steal once again if you could steal that would be greatly appreciated Luke damn it Luke all I want is to steal from the officer. Is that too much? Apparently this officer has had anti-theft training or something in the past. There we go, we get a tonic. And his clothing too. Here we go, and now we change. These are a little too big, but they'll do. Well, yeah, you're just ridiculously undersized in battles compared to everybody else. And then the birthday suit runs away, of course. Because that's what people do when they're naked. They run run away. Okay, I probably should heal, so I'm going to take care of that, and I'll be right back in our spiffy new clothes. Let's go ahead and move on. I didn't fully heal, but I used a tonic, which is more or less the same thing. We have, well, most of our HP back. Let's move on, and we probably need to fight somebody else. What we need to do now is try to open up another part of town that we didn't have access to before as a merchant. The only person that really is affected by this is this person down here. Good, I'll take a break. Good for you. And where does he go? He goes into the inn. That is not where I would like to go. Everybody, you know, they don't really have much to say. Just back to your post. Where we need to go is the pub. Even though it says cafe because this is a Nintendo game. But it's a pub. I think we all know that. The passage under the big mansion. Huh. That is important, I bet. A famous general who turned traitor. Oh, I was about to say, is it Leo? But no, it's definitely a she. Huh. I don't know if we know a she. General, a female general. Two tunnels under the old the rich man's house. The That guy doesn't want to say anything to me, so I guess we'll just head down here. Do you remember this guy? This is the guy with the cider. I need some of that cider. I have! Yes, you thief, of course. And it is, uh, once again, not boss time. You need to steal from him, though, because we need his clothes in order to get back where we want to go. We are pretty much done being an officer for now, but we need a new change of clothes in order to progress anymore. So there we go. Another plumed hat and his clothing as well. Here we go, and we changed once again into a merchant. And once again, it's kind of a weird mechanic, I guess I could say, of the game that when you steal from an enemy, it actually changes the enemy into a birthday suit. It's weird. And we have taken the old man's cider, uh, which has put that into our key item inventory. Uh, we just need to take it back to the guy. I don't know, the servant? I think his a he, he's just the servant. That's what we need him for. So... We need to head all the way back around down. Now that this soldier is gone, we no longer need to be an officer to make it through there. Uh, they do give you uh, respawns. You saw that the, the officer on the left had come back. So if you need it again, you can get him again. But we need to head through the back entrance this time. Yes, I am a merchant, so I may proceed. Dude, I have cider for you. I assume it is hard cider and not, like, non-alcoholic cider. That's just my guess. Go downstairs and give my grandson the password. It's, uh, I forget. Of course you do. Of course you do. We'll just head down there anyway. Even though, yeah, I don't think there's a way to actually legitimately find out the password. I think you just have to guess. Uh, you have three options here. Rosebud, which is a Citizen Kane reference, which I would recommend that you guys go see, 
somewhere online probably uh, if you haven't seen it already it is a good movie I wouldn't say best of all time but yeah Citizen Kane's a pretty good movie uh, I, yeah I won't spoil it even though Family Guy definitely did damn Peter uh, the password is courage so I think you just get infinite tries at it so no real excuse for not getting that but the password is courage so we will continue through the secret passage into the rich man's house and we wind up where we were before where there's probably an elixir in there but I probably already grabbed it let's head around to the front of the mansion and try to figure out what the hell's going on around here oh this is their headquarters lovely I picked their headquarters to go into this town fell instantly thanks to their informer. Who the hell is the informer then? Was it the old man in the cider? Freaking drunk. You have anything to say about this, dude? I betrayed the town. And I didn't even need the money. Apparently it was him. It was him all along. So, we now know who the betrayer is. I don't think that really helps any. Magic tech armor, good for you. Wind the clock. One, it's just a jump rope rhyme. And since that's pretty much our only clue, wind the clock, we'll have to move on, assuming that that means something, considering that we worked our ass off in order to get in here to begin with. Almost went down the stairs. We don't need to go down the stairs. We need to go into the secret entrance in the back. Remember, it's just behind the suitcase. You don't need to do... Er, Wow, behind the suitcase, behind the bookcase. You don't need to do anything special in order to open it up. You just need to go. 